what's up everyone welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing good <sighs> today's the day <laughs> uh, i've been waiting for this moment and i'm excited and pretty nervous right now i hope everything goes well and so uh, i had to beat it at the dyno by 11 o'clock so i got everything all ready and so let's go ahead and hit the road the guy right there with the blue shirt that's philip and um if you guys know him he is uh, one of the members of garage moon power so he's going to be the one going to tune my uh r32 so, philip hey uh, this is travis hey hi nice travis you. how you doing man uh so this is your non-turbo turbo? Yeah, it's a non-turbo turbo. turbo. <laughs> yeah, turbo. So I see you got your, your meth injection. Yeah. Um, the meth nozzle right there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, the engine is stock mm -hmm. uh, with the HKS 2530 and then with the Z32 meth. Mm -hmm. And so you got the EDC on it? Yeah. And then uh, with the DW. 440 cc's okay. and yeah um for the fuel pressure i bump it up to 59 like i like i told you the other day yes yeah, so we'll bring that down and yeah we'll fix everything yeah in the, uh, calibration okay, and um in the back and be yeah right that's sweet this i have not seen <laughs> rolling around more. <laughs> yeah yeah Like, wait a second, this door seems short. Oh, hey, there's another one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, pump right there the cell noise underneath that so um i purged it already so um the fluid is is going all the way through right. yeah Where's your uh, R34? It's up, Alex. Come on, man! I was waiting for that, dude. <laughs> I could I could use that as for for the contents here, man. <laughs> oh yeah, today. Okay. Okay, we're gonna check the timing. Okay. Okay. All right. It's just a screw, right? Yeah, just a screw. Uh, it's a 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter? Yeah. So how long how long you been uh, tuning? Um, a long time. A long time, huh? Yeah. That's good, man. Oh, no, no. It's not for everybody, you know? Yeah. <laughs> My goal is to run um, a decent number. Mm -hmm. Not too crazy, but you know, safe. And you know, something enjoyable. Pushing up as high as it'll go safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just set it at like 49. 49? Okay, alright. At first I had it about 44. Huh? At first I had it 44 and then I changed it up to. Just a little bit more. Yeah. Have a 
you do it from the um, handheld one. Yeah, it's fine. It just takes. It's just going to be more more time then. Yeah, I just have to like hit a whole bunch of. Uh, <laughs> You know, back in the days, those uh, Super FC. Yeah. <laughs> oh shoot. All right. All right. Okay, so Phil, Philip's gonna adjust the timing. So we're gonna um, advance it or retard it. Retard it. Okay. Yeah, so right now the EC is putting out 15 or it's 25. Okay. All right. Timing set, so Philip is tying the boat. It's go time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's kind of like up and down now. Time, you know. <laughs> so, um, at this point, do you still suggest me to upgrade my uh, my crank angle sensor, or it seems like it's okay? I guess it's it's okay. So far off on the timing. Uh, no more restrictor. Okay. Yeah. And then just do the oil restrictor. Okay. It's not one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm way happy with this number right here, you know. Yeah. I mean, like like you said, between um, the DE and DET, the head, yeah. it's, it's different too. Maybe maybe the bottom end is different. Maybe, you know, I, know I couldn't do so much, you know. I know the pistons are different. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, it could be different than it might have some more boards. So right, right, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do more research on that, you know. Um, I'm happy with this number right here. As long as I can drift and have fun with it, you, you know? Have to be a little 
Oh yeah, I mean even even what the 200, 200 some, 241, yeah. still be alright, right? Yeah, you probably had like 160 before, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Like Dude, I was running NA uh, drifting. It was like it was hard for me to break the tire loose. Man. Yeah. If you put the 410 in it too, it'll be like okay. Very all right. You know anybody that have 410? Uh, maybe. I'll have to see. All right. If you do, it, just let me know. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you come come across with a 410 diff, let me know. I can get it. All right, Bill. Thanks, man. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Uh, max horsepower is. 313.79 max torque 312.29 uh, not bad for uh, NA of 25 with a turbo conversion um, yeah I mean this is more than I expect I was hoping to be at least 300 but um, according to Philip he said total of um, degree is about 24 so um, max boost is about 15 okay so with the 410 that that will make the huge difference yeah, you'll, you'll probably end up being drifting like down here and you'll yeah yeah like up here. okay yeah. yeah I definitely find one I, I I'm gonna need it anyways yeah, you'll, you'll love it yeah all right Phil Hey, um, just want to say thank you, and um, I got a YouTube channel too. So, uh, how can um, a customer will come to you? Uh, find me on Facebook, or you've got my business card. Okay. Plug it in there. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'll put the uh, information on the description, mm -hmm. and that way um, people can look you up and yes, go sir. from there. You know, local people too. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, man, I like this number. Love it, you know. This is uh, a, a good number, uh, something that more streetable. Oh yeah. Yeah, too. So, all right, man. A thousand? Yeah, just let me know. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. All right, guys. I'm back at home safely, and oh, such a long day, but everything went successful. Everything is good. Big shout out to uh, Philip from EMS Engine Management Solution. And oh, good job, good job, Philip. And uh, we're able to produce uh, 313 horsepower, 312 torque. And that's good enough on the street and have fun at the track drifting. So uh, my goal was to have at least 300. So the more the better. <laughs> And so uh, there's there's a couple things that I'll I'll have to touch up, and um, that goes for the oil restrictor. Uh, the one that on my turbo right now is made for the joint bearing, so it's it's releasing more oil than the bar bearing uh, oil restrictor. So uh, I'm, I'm I would need to fix that as soon as possible. And um, it's just a couple minor here and there, but nothing major. But today was a successful day, and I'm happy for, for my number. And that way I can move on to whatever that I need to do. And so, yep, um, if you guys watch all the way to the end, thank you very much. And if you guys like what you guys see, do me a favor hit the like button and if you want to subscribe help me out and you know so my my channel can grow and so I can produce more content for you guys to watch so all right man I'm getting tired and so it's been a long day I'm I'm sweaty and so peace and I'll see you guys next time